that the flowers are blooming. Look at that. I'm so excited, bro. Come on. I'm gonna eat so much. My flight from Seoul to Hong Kong took about three and a half hours and I landed at 5.30, I think. And then I took a taxi to my hotel, walked around for a bit in the area. It was kind of overwhelming at first. There was so much food and so many things to look at and a lot of construction going on in my area. So that was a bit interesting at first. I just checked into my hotel. Oh, there's so many people. Hong Kong is like in a different era. I am heading over to meet my friend for dinner. And I am lost. Where's the station? Let's find this first. Hello. <laughs> yeah, this is in Hong Kong. Yes! And who are you? Uh, I'm Kevin. I am a uh, good friend of good friend of Jazz. I'm a good friend. Great friend. Great friend. I wore a Tesla. I was told I need to try McDonald's in Hong Kong. So there's one right near my hotel. I just had dinner, but there's always room for fries. Okay, so Hong Kong McDonald's wins for the oat milk and the bubble tea that they had. <laughs> I'm gonna go eat this in my room. Wow, I can't. <laughs> I should probably use my tripod that I brought, but too lazy. I put the fries in here and then I take my seaweed seasoning later okay i think this should be good all right moment of truth wow. okay the fries taste healthier <laughs> oh my god it's kind of addicting mm. Mm-hmm. America should have this. Hello. It is the first morning in Hong Kong and I am by the harbor. Right over there is the oh my god, I just tripped. <laughs> um the Hong Kong Space Museum. The weather is actually quite nice. They said it's not hot, but to me it's really warm right now because Korea was quite cold when I left yesterday. But here it's hot and humid and I'm wearing sandals. Look at my outfit. I totally look like a tourist right now. I'm so excited. <laughs> So I thought this was going to be way more spicier than it looked because all those chili peppers were there but surprisingly I handled that quite well or maybe my spice tolerance has gone up I'm not sure um I didn't die that was good after lunch I went home changed and then went to my friend's wedding banquet it was such a cute little family affair and I really enjoyed it oh, So here's day two and I decided to get coffee at a cafe right next to my hotel called Halfway Coffee. I do not remember what coffee I got but I just remember it was really good. Then stopped by to get a pineapple bun from this local bakery before I headed off to meet my friend and his family and his wife and her family for dim sum which was quite delicious. Yeah. <laughs> Are you good, Philip? You doing good? You doing good? Doing good. How is that looking? It's a video. Oh, so. oh it's so hot! You got one down. You're not even getting the full effect yet. Very evil. 
<laughs> nope, never mind. Almost. <laughs> We went there for the views, of course, but it's raining. The weather was good up until today. And then tomorrow it's supposed to rain all day. So that will be fun. <laughs> I am laying on my hotel room <clears throat> being dramatic. I forgot to bring my meds, my medicate. What was that? Oh my god. Wow, it's late. Okay. I forgot to bring <laughs> alcoholic drink what the hell <laughs> okay all right <clears throat> makes fun i forgot to bring my eczema medication for my face my face decided that it's gonna have a reaction to whatever is happening here so did you see that that was lightning <laughs> why is this so chaotic okay back to the eczema um yeah you can see it from far away actually it's literally only on this side and it's right here and it's really itchy this side is fine i never get it on the side it's always just right here literally just this one spot why i don't even know i should stop being... okay that was thunder we have a lightning and thunder nice I don't think you can hear it. You're probably just saying I'm being dramatic now in my videos. <laughs> you should go to sleep. What time is it? I don't know my watch. Okay. Good night. Welcome to Hong Kong! <laughs> After breakfast, we walked around for a bit and then took this really long escalator up to the Taekwon Center for Heritage and Arts. It used to be an old prison during the colonization period in Hong Kong, but they remodeled it into cafes and restaurants and even museums. So this one was a museum of one of the old prisons where you could have a walk through history lesson. For lunch, we went to Lokcha in the same area. It was vegan dim sum and tea, and the worker there taught us how to drink our tea properly, so that was kind of a cool cultural lesson for free. It was drizzling slightly, but we still had fun, had some ice cream, and then walked around for a bit before heading off to our next destination. Welcome introduce to Hong Kong. Thank you. Introduce yourself. Please. I'm Celine. Um, Jazz is a college friend from San Diego. This is my husband. Hello. His name is Joseph, by the way. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, tell us about the food we had today. Oh, I can't even remember what we first ate. We had kanji, we had uh, zat leng, yu tao, soy milk. Then we went on to have some vegetarian dim sum, which was really mm, nice. It's very corn. good. Uh, and then now we are going to a nunnery. Oh, an outdoor oh, garden. garden. It's so quiet and serene here. I wish this was my backyard. I want to live here. Can I live here? <laughs> I think that's my friend. Oh yeah. <laughs> so one thing that I don't think many people know about me is I love lotus ponds. I think they're so beautiful. If I become famous, my house is going to look like this. We're just going to have lotus ponds everywhere. We have bonsai trees. Bonsai trees. So pretty. Look at the bird. 
Richards. How is a dumpling? I mean the bun. It's so good. I could eat this every day. I should not do that. I'm gonna drop my phone. It's actually very slow. I bought some vegan sauces to use for cooking from the nunnery and I stupidly left them on the ferry. So we had to wait for it to make a round trip so I could pick them back up from it. But luckily we avoided any other incidents before we headed off to dinner. And for dinner, we had chicken pot. Wait, didn't have one yet? Oh, wow. This, this steam. How long do I hold it in here? It's enough. 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 It's Ooh, that's so good. I really like it. That's really good. This is Sern Pei. Sern Pei Dang Lai. And this is Karen Sup Dang Xin Lai. I couldn't finish it, but. So full. This area reminded me so much of Shibuya Crossing in Tokyo or even Times Square in New York. There was just so much happening. The billboards, the trolleys, the people, just so much to take in. Bay. <laughs> I am now heading back to my hotel. I had so much food. I'm a bit sad that it's my last night in Hong Kong. I have to be up around like 4 a.m. to get to my flight, but it's definitely worth it. 